So we've seen how we can put folders inside folders um, and how we navigate through here. So what I want to do now is switch to a, con a folder that where I, I work in all the time so you can actually see what that looks like in terms of organizing a, a busy folder. So here we can see a folder that I've got in Google Drive and it's a lot of content in here that you can see and each and in, inside each one of these folders is so for example if we look at here my e-learning resources if we look inside here there's a computational thinking shared we can see that um, and we can go inside each one of these things there's a whole bunch of work we click on Edison there's a whole set of folders inside here and we can see the, the navigation list going through here but that begins in a, in a work environment. The power of all of this is being able to share stuff. And so if you come back to my drive, you can see that some folders have got a little person on them um, and some of them haven't. So the ones that haven't got, um, these ones haven't been shared, but this one has. So if I wanted to share this document here, I could right click on it and I click on share and then I can share it with people in my team. So all I need to do is enter a name. So let's go it was Mark. Now once I've added Mark here, I can at the right, right hand side here, I can decide whether they can organize, add and edit or they can view only. So I can give authority to those people as I see fit to organize um, my folders. I'm going to cancel this. I don't want to, don't want to share that one with him. And but also <clears throat> when you create content, yeah, that's how you share a folder. But if you create a content, you end up with this shared with me stuff. This folder here is a list of all the documents that have been shared with me from other people using Google Drive. And finding and making sense of all this content takes a very, you know, is is is, is very difficult. So how do you manage this? And that's um, what we do here. So for example, here I've got this folder, this, this document here called eLearning Magic, which was shared with me by Catherine. You can see over here it's been shared and she shared it with me on the 14th of December. And I, I, I'm going to lose track of that. So what I need to do is, what I need to do is move it into a folder that I know is going to be able for me. Whoops! Come all the way back. Click. Come back to share with me. Do it again. So coming back down to here. So um, rather than trying to find anything that has been shared with me in the share with me folder I organize it by saying right I'm going to move it to a folder that in my folder system that I know is going to be easy for me to find because I know Catherine works at Henderson and this is related to term one for next year but it hasn't moved from the share with me folder the share with me folder just becomes this list this is the newest um, share with me document um, that I've been just been shared with me but you know this goes all the way back down as, as 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 far as I can keep on going, you know, and so inquiry outline draft document lease earning document, you know, all these kind of things here um, are going to be difficult to remember that they've been shared with me, which is why moving them to a particular folder is a good thing to do. And that's how you move any documents around in Google Drive. So lastly, let's look at something else. Let's come back to here. Let's click on Google Docs. So some of you won't work directly in Drive. So if you remember in Google Drive, we can click on new, we can create a new Google Doc or a Google Sheet, that's, that's fine. So let's just do, let's go through the process here. Click on Google Docs, here's my document. Uh, in another video, I'll show you how to create this content. Um, let's give it a name. Let's just call it test. But do you notice how this little folder comes up here? We've created it in Google Docs and we can decide where we want to move it to. So I don't want to move it to 2018. I want to move it back to say work files and move it to here. And now that document has been created in here. Equally, if I come to Google Drive here and I come back to work files, we can see my test document is in here. I think, oh, I've put that in the wrong place. So I can now actually move it to personal files. It's done. If we come to Google Docs over here, which is not in Google Drive, and we decide that this is the space that I, this is how some of you might want to work, we'll just 
close this. You might decide to start a new document actually inside Google Docs, but you then need to organize it into Google Drive. So let's do another document here. Let's go, this is our document. And we're going to call this test two. Same thing again. Up here is little move to. It links automatically to your Google Drive and you can decide where you want to put it to. So I, I might put it in work files. No, let's come back put it in personal files let's put it in 2018 and click move and it's exactly the same thing if you work in Google Slides rather than using Google Drive and in the next video I'll show you more detail how these these two um, work but same thing create a new presentation and the folder appears click over here and once it appears you can save it into the folder that you want to save it into and basically that's a very simple view overview of Google Drive, how to organize it, how to create folders, how to nest folders, how to personalize your folders, um, how to move files around, how to deal with shared content and how to create content and move it to the right folder.